Wam. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rocha HaKodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one and only true living power. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior and Redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, the Alpha and Omega, and the Rocha HaKodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, who I learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace and blessings be multiplied upon the house of David, which is the elect men, women, and children. So, um, just want to do a, another lesson, um, kind of piggybacking off of the lesson I did uh, uh, yesterday. I'm going in on the sons of uh, Bilal, all right, are B, are B, B allowed? Uh, I forgot how exactly how it's um, worded or phrased, I should say, um, not phrased, pronounced. Um, but yeah, yesterday that was, you know, more so directed toward the uh, wicked, you know, evil men of our nation. And uh, this is going to be, you know, a... Uh, uh, rebuke i guess you would say on the 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 wicked and evil women of our nation okay because you know israel is uh just the majority of israelites right now is just wicked you know a sinful you know no fear the lord you know all across the board you know from the of course from the man to the woman and you know to the children okay and then and, and, and this is why we are constantly um you know reproving our people and, and so that the elect of our people can hear this word and repent. All right. Um, let me get this uh, scripture in the book of Acts chapter three. Um, the book of Acts chapter three, verse 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing, refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right. So this is why, you know, we are reproving and rebuking, uh, um, showing our people their transgressions in the house of Israel, their sins, so that the ones who hear this word, all right, the ones that were predestined from the foundation of the earth to, um, you know, to receive salvation will repent. Okay, because, you know, before hearing this truth, we all, you know, uh, 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 was in that, um, you know, in, in, in darkness, right? We all was following after the uh, ways of the uh, spirit of disobedience, okay? But, you know, a through through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we have, uh, well, you know, woken up and, um, you know, turned back from those evil and wicked things that we were committing and, you know, are trying to rehearse the righteous acts so that we can be ready when Yahweh Shai returns. As the scripture says in the book of Revelation, uh, the, the, the wife... All right, um, let me pull that real quick. Revelation 19, uh, verse 7. It says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Okay, and who is the Lamb? Yahweh Shai. Who is the wife? Um, symbolically, it is the church. All right, the body of Yahweh Shai, which is uh, comprised of the elect men, women, and children. All right, and uh, you know we are 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 given diligence to make ourselves uh, selves ready for the return of Yahweh Shai, and so that we can partake in that marriage. Okay, but you have you know a lot of our people who you know would rather do the 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 the, the things of this world, who would rather fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know who are as you know we said uh, yesterday, um, just worthless or unprofitable. Uh, good for nothing okay and that includes the women so i got a few clips here that i will uh play that just uh shows you know how you know our our people man <laughs> you know the, they're, they're they're just through okay they're through and and you can clearly see that we are the children of of israel you know by way of the curses that are upon us all right, actually, let me pull that up real quick. In Deuteronomy 28, verse 45, it says, Moreover, all of these curses shall come upon thee, 
and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. All right. Hey, and we are a destroyed people. All right. Mentally. All right. Being smitten with madness. All right. Our our, um, you know, uh, um, dynamic between man and woman, our dynamic between our you know parents and children. OK, it's just uh, overall. And the, the, the people of Israel are destroyed people. But, hey, the good news, the gospel is that this isn't going to be, you know, forever. And actually, we're at the end of this. All right. The punishment of our iniquity is accomplished. All right. And that's why you have, you know, Israelites, men and women that are returning back into Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Right. That are, you know, uh, uh, walking according to the standard that the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai set forth for us. All right. Like I said before, rehearsing the righteous acts because, you know, none of us are perfect, but we are striving to be, you know, uh, perfect. As Yahweh Shai said, be therefore perfect, uh, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. All right. And that starts with your mind. That starts with your, your thought process. That starts with your um, decision making. Right. It starts with you knowing good and evil all right you choosing righteousness over wickedness you choosing the spiritual over the cardinal all right and that's a constant daily battle that the majority of our people have have succumbed to the majority of our people have lost that battle so it says let me read that from the top again moreover all these cur curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou uh, because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and statutes which he have commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So anyone who is a, a, of a seed of Jacob, guess what? <laughs> These curses that are upon you, that follow you, that pursue you, that overtake you, those are for a sign. All right. It's for a sign. Black culture is a curse. But here it is. Our people, you know, following after the ways of, of the devil, they have turned good, evil and evil. Good. They turn being, you know, baby mothers by right, single parents uh, uh, was something that it was a shameful thing. They turned that into being, you know, a uh, something to be proud of. They turned being, you know, single. Right. A, a single man or a single woman into something, you know, which is something that is actually detrimental to your, your, your nation, right? Detrimental to your, 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 your state. <laughs> and well, you know, I can't even say it is detrimental to your mental state because in this, this society, in this system, it, 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 it seems as though it's easier and more, uh, stre uh, less stressful to be by yourself. All right. But, but from the beginning, the Lord didn't create it, you know, uh, to be that to be that way, right? He created, you know, man and women to, um, you know, dwell together, all right. So to, to for the man and his wife to be one flesh. But because of these curses, all of that stuff, you know, the the whole earth is out of course, man. And that is on us for a sign and for a wonder and upon our seed, you know, forever, right? So. You know, without further ado, let me get this first one. All right, this is coming from World Star. And listen to what she says here. So as you just 
see. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming she was trying to get away from the cops, all right, which is already something that's reckless and, 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 and you know, stupid to do, right? Because, you know, <laughs> doing that in itself by yourself in the car is one thing, which is, you know, idiotic. But on top of that, you over here trying to get away from the cops when you got your, your toddler in the car and then your car stalls out. And then on top of that, you just dip out the car and you you try to run from the cops and you just leave your your, your child in the car and screaming to the, everybody that's watching, you know, get my baby, get my baby. All right. But this is a, this is a, a society. This is the mindset of, you know, uh, uh, our people, man, the wicked of our people. Right. Like I said yesterday, you got the sons of be a be be allowed. Be allowed all right, and, and so like if I'm pronouncing it wrong, um, but you also got the daughters, <laughs> all right, you got the daughters of, um, of, uh, B, 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 Leal, B, Leal, that's how you pronounce it, it's B, Leal, okay, so you got our people, Israelites, who are, who are women that are also worthless, good for nothing, uh, uh, uh useless, man, and that's why when Yahweh Shai returned, hey, first of all, that's why Jacob's trouble is going to come upon uh, 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 Israel, okay? The famine, the pestilence, okay? The sword, all right? The 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 uh, ravishing of the households, the ravishing of the women, okay? Because our people they are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Look at that, just just straight dip and and, and leave your child. With no remorse, no type of second thought or anything, man. You just looking out for yourself. Now this is another one. Okay. Uh, I said the the caption says Earth is clearly not a real place. Oh my God. Now once again, this is who, the so-called black woman. All right. This is supposed to be as the scripture says. Let me pull that up. Uh, Deuteronomy. 28 um verse 56 it says the tender and delicate woman among you when you look at the so-called black woman for the majority tender neither tender nor delicate comes to mind and that's because of what the curses that's because of the society that's because of uh uh, uh the disobedience of our of our woman you know and i'm not talking about you sisters that have repented OK, I'm talking about the vast majority of our women. They're neither tender nor delicate. They don't even they think being tender and delicate, being submissive is an actually a negative thing to be. They think being soft spoken, being shamed, uh, shame faced. All right. Is degraded. When in, in actuality, that is that that uh, brings forth a woman's true beauty, man. There's nothing better. I, you know what? I actually have this uh, scripture here. Um, <laughs> let me pull this in uh, the um, the GNTA, the Good News Translation. When you go to Sirach, all right, they got it called Ben Sara, all right, or you know, son of Sirach, um, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter. 26, where is the point at? There we go. Um, chapter 26, verse 14, it says, A wife who doesn't talk much is a gift <laughs> from the Lord. Such restraint is uh, admirable beyond words. All right. A wife who doesn't talk much is a gift from the Lord. Such restraint. All right. Temperament. Self-control is admirable, admirable beyond words. A modest wife has endless charm. It is a quality too precious to measure. You see that? But because we live in captivity, because we, we live underneath these curses. Right. Because we transgressed our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, followed after the ways of the heathen, all right, uh, 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 desired to live 
carnal desire to fulfill the lust of our of the flesh the this type of you know lifestyle someone a wife who doesn't talk much a wife who is who has who's modest you it's it's, it's impossible i'll say that <laughs> cuz solomon said it right it's impossible to find that in this day and age man all right yeah but solomon said what out of a thousand i found none okay now, but like I said, you have uh, um, our women who are not tender and delicate because they see that as being uh, uh, weak. They see that as being um, have no value. But this is how our women are supposed to uh, be conducting themselves. And this is why this is this is a part of our inheritance that we're going to receive back in the kingdom. All right, this is why we are hastening the coming of the day of the Lord, man. You know, there's so much that the that Yahweh Shai is coming is coming to give us when he said that uh, uh my reward is with me. Uh, hey, the reward is having a, you know, part of that reward is is actually being able to enjoy your woman, all right, in her natural, beautiful, delicate, tender, modest quiet a state and that in itself when you think about the so-called black woman and the so-called hispanic woman too okay because don't get it twisted you you the, the, the so-called hispanic woman is is <laughs> is a damn demon as well all right <laughs> hey that's why you say hispanic um uh, uh said be um i can't be his peace because i'm hispanic all right his panic and it's a play on words all right, but and that's all of Israel. That's all of the daughters of uh, of Zion. So it says the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward her, the husband of her bosom, and toward the son and to like, and toward her son and toward her daughter. Okay, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. And toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly in the siege and straightenage, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. Hey, and you had that happen back then, where uh, because of the famine, because of the straightness, uh, women were were sodding, you know, eating their children. You can read about that in, in Lamentation, I believe, the uh, third or fourth chapter. All right, but also it's going to happen again in these times, man. Okay, it's going to happen again in these times, and it's going to be a a, a a a horrible, horrible situation that our people are going to be in. And it's because what they have, they chose to do the 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 wicked things, man. They chose to not adhere. Actually, let me get that where it says what they chose to do the things where the Lord delighted not in. Um, Isaiah 65, I believe. Isaiah 65, verse <clears throat> uh, 12, it says, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. That's not just to the men. That's you, you wicked, evil women as well. The Lord has got your number as well, man. You're not going to be uh, uh, left, uh, left unpunished. It says, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. All right, and the Lord does not delight in a loud, boast, uh, prideful, clamorous, uh, uh, whore, right, of a woman, especially, you know, of his, of his chosen seed, the daughters of Zion. So yeah, you want to get that the ones who do not repent, the ones who do not uh, 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 seek the Lord while He may be found. You going the Lord is not going to pity you either in the time of calamity, in the time of His wrath. All right, so let's see this. Look at that. Hey, 
she came out the car laughing like uh the joker <laughs> but no, you just hear the demons on her yo you just flipped your car you come out laughing ha 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 hey this is this is why majority of our people are born in vain and this is why the lord is going to give them a hard reset through that fire man because they don't want to accept the lord's mercy they don't want to accept a uh, uh, correction and discipline through you know, uh, uh, repenting and being um, disciplined, you know, being being a follower of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Denying their flesh. So the Lord, the, they still the Lord's people, right? So the Lord going to give them exactly the fruit of their doings. He's going to, he, ah, you know what? Let me get that. He is going to reward them exactly with what they have been, uh, uh, the ways that they have been living. And it's right. It's it's a hundred percent justified, man. The scriptures tell you that the Lord ju judgment, uh, the Lord uh, judgment goes out every morning, right? And He will not do iniquity. You know what? Let me pull that up first. Zephaniah three. Zephaniah three verse five. It says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is in the midst, man. And the fact that we are calling upon His name, all right, praying. To Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to bring judgment, okay, to 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 uh, uh to do work for they have made void His law, and we are in the end of this age. <clears throat> what's going to happen? Uh, second Ezra the ninth chapter, right? It says what the Lord. Uh, it is a very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which He made. So He is in the midst. Judgment is going out. He says He will not do iniquity. So he's not going to do something that is wrong. Everything that the Lord does will be right, will be justified. As he says, his, his, his ways is equal and your ways are unequal. See, you wicked Israelites, your ways are unequal as hell, man, because you're doing nothing but evilness. You're, you're, reap, you're sowing nothing but corruption, sowing nothing but folly, all right, and, 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 and death. And yet your, your hope is that you, that you don't receive that. You, when something happens negatively to you, 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 oh, why God, do, why'd you do this, God? Why, why not my baby? No, he didn't deserve that. Yeah, he, yes, he damn did. Or yes, she damn did, man. All right. And the fact that these things are now being recorded, <laughs> you no know, more and more and more, we're going to see a lot of judgment. A lot of judgment is, is, is going to be televised, man. Through through the through the smartphones, through the cameras, through everybody want to you know upload and, and videotape every damn thing. So it says he will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. And the unjust is unjust men of Israel and unjust women of Israel. They knoweth no shame. She did not even know no any shame right here. She just flipped her car. She wanna get arrested. Actually, let me finish the clip. Look at that. Flip the car and still talk the shit. Sweet. Demons. What's your black racist ass, bitch? And you almost just hit my motherfucking car with my kids in. Lucky my mom, you ain't just hit it because I'll be beating your dumb ass. Like so called uh, uh, Edomite dude. I don't know if he was Edomite or not, but he looked like one. He, he got caught in the middle, of, <laughs> caught in the middle of it, and he, he got dragged. She 
just tweet. And you almost just hit my motherfucking car with my kids in. Lucky my mom, you ain't just hit it because I'll be beating your dumb ass. And so, there you got that one. And then you got this. This is all within the last, you know, well, this one says from March 21st, but this one was yesterday and this one was two days ago. Hey, yo, So, look, these these people gotta go, man. All right, straight up and down. Like we not even at we not even at the point where we at the point where you you can clearly see that there is there is now. Of course, the Lord can right. He can uh, uh, save, wake up somebody in that type of um uh in that type of mindset. But these people at this point. At this point in the in, in the in the in the game, you can you can see that they just they're 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 uh, uh, not meat for repentance, man. Like how uh, John the John the Revelator said, not John the Revelator, John the Baptist. All right, bring therefore bring you therefore fruit meat for repentance. Okay, so let's get a couple. And we'll we'll just close it out. Uh, the book of um, Lamentation. Chapter 4, verse 3. It says, Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. All right, that's how the, the, the women of our people are, man. Okay? They don't care about their, 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 their children, their young ones, as we've seen in that first clip. Running from the cops talking about, get my baby. And I believe the baby almost got hit because the, the the baby opened the door. And this is, I, I'm not too sure, but based off of the video clip, it seemed like the baby almost got hit by a, a car, the um, police car oncoming. And that's why they started to like, you know, uh, uh, wild out like that a little bit. Because um, when she dipped off, I think the child opened the door and tried to get out while, while her car was coming. All right. But it said what? I, the daughter of my people are become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. Now, let's see, speaking of ostriches, let's go to uh, Job chapter 19, I mean 39, verse 13. It says, Givest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust. Now, this is a, um, you know, a, 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 a allegory or a symbolism, right? It's speaking about the actual birds but it's really speaking about the women of our you know of our nation that are you know really just uh uh un un they as the scripture said they're cruel man they 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 have no natural affection so it says which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust and forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because the Most High has deprived her of wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Now, let's read this in the um, in another translation. Let's see. This is a good one. Let's lock it one second. Right. It says the ostrich flaps her wings grand, grandly, but they are no match for the feathers of the stork. Now, we just read like how in Lamentations, the Lord uh, um, equivalated the daughters of Zion as an ostrich. Now, the, the ostrich flapping her wings, that's what Israel, Israelite women, all right, boasting in their looks, all right, in their, uh, in their outward appearance, because the Israelite woman, she's still, you know, <laughs> they still fine. They still look good, all right, to the to the uh, to the uh, outwardly, right? Outwardly, 
They still may look good. They got the nice lips, the nice hips, the nice ass, the nice titties, etc., etc. They don't got the hair because of the curses. But it says, but they are no match for the feathers of the stork. And that's ultimately because when you really dealing, when you really see the the the, the curses of that is upon the Israelite woman, that separate it's very it's very um, indistinguishable that an Israelite woman. Uh, uh, is not as good, right? And I'm speaking about in a sense of um, uh, calmly, right? In a sense of delicate, tender, uh, uh, quiet, all right? All of the things that you would actually desire for a wife, they don't have those attributes. That's why it says, but they are no match for the feathers of a stork. She lay her eggs on top of the earth, letting them be warmed in the dust, okay? Meaning what? That she just uh, drops her kids off and and doesn't really give a give a damn about their well being. She doesn't worry that a foot might crush them, or a wild animal might destroy them. Letting their children just be out in in, in the streets, wild, not caring about their whereabouts. All right, not giving you know giving them you know strict discipline and order so that they can you know grow up uh, 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 with. A right type of mindset. That's why in the scriptures it says what? That menstruous children shall bring forth monsters. Right? Monsters in the, you know being deformed. All right. But also these monstrous children, because of the, the, the lack of parenting that these women and men, but this lesson is is dedicated to women that these women are 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 doing the lack of of discipline and lack of parenting that these women are doing uh you know for the 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 youth of Israel so it says she is harsh toward her young as if they were not her own she doesn't care if they die for the most high have deprived her of wisdom he have given her no understanding all right and that's why as a man you should not be following behind no damn woman because the Lord deprived her of wisdom. And those three clips are, are clear evidence that the women of our nation, for the majority, do not have wisdom, man. That's why the Lord created man to lead. All right? And specifically, it's a, a, a man of the Lord. Because these niggas, <laughs> the, the, these niggas out here were raised by the women who don't have any understanding going back to the curses right uh, uh um that a man was going to leave his his house and leave his children and now you got these single parent mothers that are barely uh able to take care of their children if or if they're doing it at all so they're raising them up without wisdom and then you got these wicked ass niggas out here monstrous niggas out here and and the and the the, the uh, female children that they have just become Harlots and and, and and following after the footsteps of their mother. All right, there's a scripture that says that uh, the proverb, as it, as the mother is, so is the daughter. Right. So this is First Corinthians seven. Uh, Salakia. What is it? First Corinthians eleven. Yep. First Corinthians eleven verse three. It says, "Now I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach Yahushai, and the head of of the man of the woman is the man and the head of Hamashiach is the most high so that is the order because the the uh, a wise prudent man all right which you only get that wisdom from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the scripture says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom that man will be able to lead his woman correctly and guide her and therefore she will be able to guide the children correctly and that, and that is how order is put into the household. And then when you have a bunch of households, then you have what? A nation. You have a community, a village, a nation. Okay, and that's why ultimately the Lord is, as it says in Isaiah the 13th, a man is going to be more precious than fine gold. And that's speaking about an elect man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, uh, the book of um, Isaiah, right? Uh... Isaiah chapter 4, verse uh, 2 says, In that day, 
shall the branch of the Lord, right? And that day speaking about, <laughs> as you see here, a remnant prepared. See, let me start at one. And that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. That one man is going to be the elect man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who has the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, starting on this side, right? Starting on this side, it says we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel because those seven women that's going to cleave unto that one man, guess what? They don't have to follow the vibration of that man, all right? And that man is going to have the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So he's going to have that wisdom. And he's going to instill that wisdom, all right, in those women. It's either you're either going to get get with this, or are you going to be left? Are you going to be gone? Are you going to be kicked to the curb? And they're going to get down with it because of what? We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. That reproach in Jacob's trouble. That reproach in the time of famine. That reproach when you got... Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, um, troops coming up and down the streets when you got niggas and, and not just so, niggas as in so-called black men, but when you got these men out here, I just say it like that, these men out here that a whole bunch of Diego's days that they want, that all they see is, is prey or and, and you women are prey and they come in to, uh, uh, to uh, prey upon you. And that's the reproach. That's the taunt. That you're going to want to be taken uh, taken away of. Verse 2. And then that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful glory and glorious. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. The elect. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Right? The remnant. The chosen. Even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. All right, the ones who are found in the Lamb's book of life. Verse 4, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. And this is filth, man. Our, our women are filthy. <laughs> filthy, man. Straight filthy. But the Lord is going to wash away the filth of our people. Okay? And, and like I said, that is a miracle in itself. Seeing our women go from this, these three things, to, to being delicate, being beautiful, being humble, being meek. It says, And shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. <laughs> okay? Because the ones who don't get it, you know, uh, uh, on this side, they gonna have to get it. They are gonna get purged. They are gonna get cleansed by that by that fire, man. All right. So you know, I ended there. Like I said, I just want to touch on this today. The 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 wicked of our women as well, man. That that the Lord got got your number in. All right. Oh, let me get that Salakia. Let me pull this up. Ezekiel nine verse four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of Je of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men. That sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said, In mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. All right, then they begin at the men which were before the house. So, Hey, when these deaf angels, when these spirits of vengeance, when they get busy, they they're not they're not having pity, man. And that's going to come as he says here uh, upon the old, upon the young, upon the little children, upon the maids, upon the women. Anyone who does not have that th that thawa, that that mark of exemption. All right, anyone who did not seek the Lord while he may be found. Who did not repent, who did not turn back from their wickedness so that their sins may be blotted out, all right, in the time of judgment, man. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaakadash. Until next time, Shalom.